What's up, y'all? Uh, in, the, in the last post, we were talking about uh, self-discipline. Um, so I wanted to go into that a little, little farther. I believe that self-discipline is the definition of self-love. That when you say that you love yourself, that means that you have behavior towards yourself that is loving. It's like you say to yourself, hey, man, look, I know you want to eat that pizza and it'll be really good, you know, but I can't let you eat that, man, because if, if you eat that pizza, you're going to feel like shit, you know, and I, I just I love you too much to let you eat that. And I think the word discipline has kind of gotten a, a bad name. We think about it in terms of punishment. I'm not I'm not talking about discipline in that way. I'm talking about discipline in the sense that you you forego immediate pleasure for the exchange of long-term self-respect. Self-love is when you say to yourself, oh, man, look, I know you and that girl got a real connection. Um, I know y'all vibe, but that's your girl's cousin. So I love you too much to let you do that. Self-love is, hey, look, I know you got a, a, a test on Monday, you know, and I know you really want to go out with your friends. It's Saturday night. You want to go out. But if you fail that test, you're not going to feel good about yourself. You know, I just I love you too much to let you go out tonight. Self-discipline is self-love. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself, which means you have to discipline your behavior. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior.